In this video, we're going to talk about ways to protect software through intellectual property. In particular, the overlapped and or distinction between patent protection and copyright protection for software embodied inventions. The first thing to note is that it isn't really an either or decision between patent protection or copyright for a software embodied invention. As we've discussed before, copyright automatically protects expression once it's been written or reduced to some form of tangible medium. So when you write the source code that implements a software embodied function or product, there's automatically copyright protection for that source code. The decision is really then whether it's worth pursuing patent protection to supplement the other forms of intellectual property that go along with source code and software. To talk about this distinction, let's take a specific example. Google's PageRank algorithm, invented by Michigan alum Larry Page. Now if you look at the patent that covers Google's PageRank algorithm that Stanford filed and obtained in the late 90s and early 2000s, you can look at claim one. As we've talked about before, the claims are what define the boundaries of patent protection. And you can see that claim one claims a method, a computer implemented method with steps one, two, and three. This patent protection provides relatively broad protection for the page rank algorithm. Anyone that makes, uses, sells, offers to sell a product that incorporates these three steps of this computer implemented method would infringe this patent. It doesn't matter if they came up with the idea on their own. It doesn't matter if they wrote their own source code. It doesn't matter if they designed their own product that incorporates this method. That is covered within the breadth of this patent scope. Conversely, the copyright protection that covers the source code that implements Google's PageRank algorithm is relatively narrow. Someone else could go and write their own source code that accomplishes the same functionality of the PageRank algorithm, and that would likely not infringe the copyright that covers that source code. So let's summarize. Patent protection is going to be relatively expensive to obtain. As we've talked about before, a patent is going to cost twenty dollars to $35,000 to obtain. It's hard to get. There's pretty high barriers to obtaining a patent. The invention that you claim has to be new, non-obvious, useful, and you have to describe it in a certain way so that people in the field understand how to use your invention. But the patent protection is going to be very strong once you get it. It covers other people even if they design their own invention as long as their invention falls within the scope of your patent claims. And this protection is relatively limited in, in terms of time. You, your patent is going to last for 20 years from the date you file your first non-provisional application. On the other hand, copyright is very easy to get. It attaches automatically once you reduce something to writing. But it's going to last for an extremely long time, essentially forever in terms of technology, certainly exceeding the, the lifetime of the value of the technology. But it's going to be relatively narrow. It only prevents people from essentially copying the expression incorporated in your source code. It doesn't stop someone from independently creating uh, their own source code to accomplish the same functionality. And that's a general overview of patent and copyright protection for software embodied inventions.